It's your boy, Ranger Mountain Biking here. And today we're back at Walnut Creek with the rest of the trails. And this is part two, so if you haven't watched part one, you should go back and watch it. And if you have watched part one, you should go watch it again, because I need the YouTube views. But anyway, today we're gonna be going on some of the more challenging trails at Walnut Creek, including trails called Endo Valley, Severe Consequences, right. Windy Loop, and BMX Loop. And I actually hit a tree on the Severe Consequences trail. So stay tuned for that. But anyway, the first trail that we're gonna be going on is a black diamond that's called Endo Valley. And it's called Endo Valley because it is really steep and it there's there's a lot of rocks. It's, it's very rocky, it's Texas, it got, it got rock. It is super short though. And it turns out, if you're good enough at uphills, you can actually pedal up Endo Valley. Get up, some bitch. Where are you pulling away? Still got up Ah, I got up that. The next trail I went on is called Severe Consequences, and despite the name, it is only a blue trail. But even though it's a blue trail, I still managed to run into a tree. So, you know, maybe it's more deserving of the name than I give it credit for. So after seeing that last part, I wanted to go back to session it and see if I can't take some questionable routes down it for the views, of course. But that's when this happened. Fuck. Fuck. Luckily, there weren't any severe consequences to this crash. I just had some slight bruising and a little bit of scratching, and that was about it. My bike was fine, everything was good. So I just kept on going on the trail. The next trail is called Windy Loop, and the first part of it has some very technical uphill stuff that could challenge even the, the highest ranked of mountain bikers. Got that. 
Oh, yeah. Oh, baby. Oh, so let's see. If I can get up it. For sure. Oh. I slipped out and slammed my knee right into the motherfucking the shits. I'm dying, bro. And once I saw this, I knew that I had to keep on trying it until I made it to the top of this mountain. And this took countless attempts and probably about, you know, an hour or two worth of tries before I finally got it. But in the process, I did vastly improve my uphill skills and now I have bragging rights. So, but I do highly recommend this trail. It's very fun. It's a good trail for beginners and experts alike. Now, since I conquered that, it's time to move on to the rest of the trail. The next trail is called BMX Loop, and the reason it's called BMX Loop is because there is a jump track towards the end of it, which I will be making another video about shortly after I get good at the jumps that they have there. But the trail itself doesn't really have any jumps on it, unfortunately, but it does have some nice berms and some pretty kinky downhill. So overall, it's, it's a pretty fun trail. I like it but maybe it would live up to his name a little bit better if it had a couple more jumps. But anyway, start the montage. Now you may be wondering why this trail is called BMX Loop and there's 
very few jumps on it and only a couple of berms and, and I'm wondering the same fucking thing to be honest <laughs> Lovely. So that's going to be the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed it, make sure you like and subscribe. And if you didn't enjoy it, uh, I don't know why you watched the whole video. But since you're here, you should go ahead and subscribe to make sure that you, you know, don't enjoy my other videos that I have. And if you have not checked out part one of Walnut Creek, you should do that. I should have a jump track video up eventually, once I get good. But I'll give you a little preview of what that's going to look like. But anyway, thanks for watching. And as always, you gotta go hard to get hard.